So start by importing the image in the front view. So go to view, image plane, import, and let's have that reference image. So sometimes what will happen, whatever you download from uh, net, right? So that image format, uh, it might not open over here. So we have this three reference. And it is in JFIF format. So sometimes if you have like this, you can just open with paint or something. This is the best. So any image which is not opening inside Photoshop, you can open with paint. Microsoft that is there. So I'll just save that and you have this. So it is having the transparency also. So now I'll just take this image and import it over here. Okay. So now we have this uh, one image. So we'll just start modeling this uh, first out, outer part of it. Then I'll just see how we can just model the inside part. So push this back. Okay, so when you are modeling this, uh, what is the easiest uh, thing you find? What is this shape? What? Box, chamfer, or you can also start with cylindrical shape. Okay, so cylindrical shape is also fine for this kind of model. Or if you want to do with the curves. So if uh, by using loft, loft, and then you want to convert into polygon. So that is also works over here. So if you just want to do with the curves, you have this, uh, go to the create and you have this curve tool. You have three point curve tool. So you can just start clicking on the top of that. So go to create curve and you have this three point. And just start clicking it here. Click it here and then click it in this place and press enter. Okay, and uh, just keep it in the center, press D. So uh, you can also press uh, D or insert on your keyboard. So when I press D, it is disappearing for some reason. I don't know what is happening with this. Or, uh, no, no, I just want to adjust this pivot point over here. When I press D. D it is disappearing that. Uh, so what I can do is I can just keep this over here. So it is one more thing which I can do is right click, control vertex, select all this thing, push it back. It's fine. It does the same thing. If there is some bug with this, it's fine. Now duplicate this control D and make it scale minus one. So it is there. Okay, so now you want to attach uh, both the things. So you can also attach. So select this two curve. Uh, go to curves and you want to attach it. So you can just click on attach and it is going to attach this curve. And after attaching, you want to close also. Now it is done. Okay, so once this is done, now you just want to make only the outer part of it. Stop talking. Okay, so if you just want to make the outer part of it, control D, just make it over here and then uh, you can just do that. So go to surface, loft it. So you got the basic shape of it. Now you want to convert that into polygon. Uh, I can just start converting this mesh into polygon. So go to modify and convert. Nerves to polygon option is here. So open that option box. So any of the nerve surface you want to convert to polygon. So there are different options. You can go for counts. So here we can specify how many number of polygons you want. Or if you want the same number of counts, you can just choose this control points and apply that. So it has done uh, one nerves to poly. Uh, this is what it is there. So if I just push this out. Okay. So this is a polygon model. So if I just go to faces. This is polygon and this is the nerves. So if you don't require this, what you can do is you can just select all this thing and add it into layer, hide this. And go to edit, delete all by type history. So there is no history for this and I can just place it over here. So this is what we have done with this shape now. This is the first shape which we have. 
okay so now inside also we just need to uh, close this so it is going inside and it is again going it inside so what you can just you can just select all these edges now shift right click extrude edge and here we have this something called offset so this is one more option so if you have thickness so thickness you can just adjust like this so there are two options so offset and thickness so i can just adjust the thickness of this and press g again and this time you need to extrude it inside so that's how the shapes are there already okay so again extrude g again press r this time so for scaling what i'll just do this part and if you just want to adjust it over here so press 4 on your keyboard and now you can just start adjusting this according to this shape just pull it up move this up suppose here and all this vertex you want to adjust you can just select all this inside vertex only uh, deselect this holding control and you can just push it so where you want to adjust that shape properly so this is what we have select all the shape accept this just start adding this deselect and then start adding. okay so i'm just making from the uh, same shape over here so back side how it will be so just have some reference for that so we already have collected the reference of that so open photos so just check and we have the turntable of that so if you want to see the turntable of this so while modeling it will be handy to see that uh, this kind of references over here so how this is cutting out so this space can be separate uh, this piece also can be separate if you want to open and show that but this is how we have it so i'll just extrude this out and this part over here so how uh, it is over there so this if you want to make this part separate that is also okay because if you want to uh, if the plan is you want to explode even this pieces this pieces also this piece also so you need to make sure that everything is separate so it depends on the ad how you are making uh, what all you have to make its explosion explode view of that so this is separate this is separate and this part also can be separate so let's do that over here so go for this now escape anyway. okay so now select everything so what I'll do is I'll just select and one more thing I'll just add some loop over here okay so if I just press 3 on my keyboard what will happen is this is what it does so when I press 3 uh, so 3 is for previewing this how, how does this look over here so when I press 3 and I just want this to be separate so select this push it over here okay so to make the edge sharp now inside this there are sharp edges so you need to add some segment over here so shift right click uh, you can just see this so if i just go to object mode shift right click insert edge loop tool so just go to this point and add one loop over here okay so if i am not able to adjust the loop uh, in this direction so you have to go to this insert edge loop tool option box reset the tool so now wherever i move this uh, mouse cursor it will adjust that over here if some case uh, that is not happening you can just adjust here here press 3 and now if i just click it over here you can just see this sharpness so uh, wherever it is required uh, you have to add that loop so here if i just add so shift right click insert edge loop tool so if i add more closer it will be more sharp if you want that curve surface you can add it little far so press 3 and here if I just click on this and if I make it close so it will be very sharp in this place okay, yes. okay so here also I have need some kind of loop or uh, loops over here so insert edge loop tool start adding one loop here as well. press 1 and let's start adding here also 
and press 3 to see that okay, so this is fine this is what we have uh, the whole surface of this okay. so now for the back side uh, of this what I just wanted to do this over here so you can just select this bring it down and here this shape so if I just show that image now just select this one move it back not here. So this part. So it is going to go a little bit of thickness. I want to push it inside also. So that's what I'll just do now for this object. So always keep your reference handy uh, when you are modeling this. And what I'll do is first I'll extrude this and just separate that out. So shift right click extrude face extrude edge. So shift right click W one double click on this edge shift right click extrude edge uh, so what we can do is we can also extrude it so when I am extruding it is over here so if you want to extrude from this direction you can click on this uh, manipulator here and then you can extrude like this okay so as soon as you click on the extrude so it will be like this if I try to extrude like this also that is also works or if you try to extrude like this this will work in this direction if you are extruding x axis it extrudes properly so see that which extrude you want for that so if I just extrude like this and how much thickness you want suppose this much ok so you want separate separate parts now you can select all these faces and you can just hold shift right click and here we have different options over here so you have here it is called extract faces so it will separate that out you can just see this now so this is what we have so I just extracted the faces for this and have it. ok uh, so I will extracting uh, if I am just pushing it inside so if I just push like, like this so it will be fine because we need that gap over here for this to extrude it. So select this thing, now shift right click extrude edge and here uh, you have this thickness. So push it inside the thickness. So how much you want to adjust this thickness. So this part is separate now and this is separate and now start adding the loops here also. So shift right click insert edge loop tool start adding the loops there here done now press 3 so yeah, that part and this also uh, you need to close this surface uh, this side right so you can just close uh, even this surface so isolate this here we have an isolate option and you can just close select this shift right click and here you have something on fill hole so when you do that fill hole it will close that surface or which one you use fill hole so shift right click fill hole so it will close that and now you can just start connecting the segments so what all the segments are there uh, if you want to connect it you can connect that or if because what will happen when I press 3 okay so if the segments are not connected this is what we will see that this is that problem over here Okay, so either you can connect the segment, press 1, uh, just select this face, <laughs> extrude face, press R. So if I just scale like this also, just arrange like this. And now if I just press 3, you can just see. Okay, so uh, you can connect the segments also, so we can still see there is some kind of uh, problem over here. So press 1. So if I can just add some insert edge loop tool over here. So I just add insert edge loop tool here also, here also and here also. And then you just press 3. So you'll have it. Okay, so you'll not have that mesh uh, issues over there. Okay, so it is better. Uh, we don't want this kind of mesh over here. So when you are doing insert this, you need to use multi cut tool. And you can just use this multi cut tool to cut from here 
to this one and right click okay so just click it over here this point and then go to this point to here click on this right click so when you right click it is going to connect that over there uh, it will come out of that so click on this point go to this point again and right click so when I right click uh, it will be connected to that part uh, sometimes if it is not connected like this so it is open right so you can close by selecting this two vertex so this vertex are open so you need to close shift right click merge merge vertex okay so anytime you feel that that uh, vertex are open uh, so while doing sometimes it will be open over there so you can just always connect that so go to the vertex select this So these two vertex we have uh, and we can also have this connect component option. So instead of multi cut I can also use the connect component. So I can just select this vertex and go to again this vertex which you have. Shift right click connect. So it is like a bridge tool uh, between the two vertex which you can have it over here. So any of this which one? Connect component no. <laughs> okay, so now just so if you want to make your own shortcuts, you can make it. So if you want something, or you can keep it inside the shelf. Okay, so any of this uh, tools you want uh, to keep inside the shelf, you can also keep it. So now let's connect this uh, also. So I, here we can just see that it is not a quad. So it is having more numbers: one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7. So there are a lot of segments, so we need to connect this. So go to this multi cut tool this time, and I just want to connect. Suppose here, I think I'll just connect to this point. Right click this time. Okay, so whatever the extra uh, vertex are there you want to remove, you can also remove that. So select this and just connect it here. Click it, right click. So it is done now. Okay, so if I want, I feel this is extra. Uh, you want to remove, control and delete. So anything you feel that this is extra uh, part. So select this one, control and delete. So it should not change the mesh, and we have this now. So press 3. Now it will be nice and smooth mesh here. Okay, so come out of this now, we have this and these two objects are separate, even for this I press 3, this is also 3 and we have done this back side part of it. Okay, so now uh, this inside part of this, uh, if you just want to make uh, this part which is over here, so if this is also separate, you can make that separate now, so select this whole edge, double click on this. So I just want to separate that part as well. So shift right click, extrude edge. So just pull this out from here. So how much you want this part. Okay, so if you want separate, you can keep it separate. But uh, this part, let's keep it same. Again, press G, push it out. Now again, press G and you have to offset it or adjust the thickness of this. So I want to push it inside. Again G. One more offset. Inside like this. Again G. So G is a shortcut which you can keep on uh, adding that. Now this time press R and then start scaling this. So I just want this circular shape in the center for the lens right so select all this now shift right click and here we have something called circularize component so it will make that circular shape over there so you don't have to uh, worry that about this how it will come so as soon as i make now it is circularized component now i can just press r scale that and just check it inside my view 
So how much I need to adjust the scale of that? Suppose here, let's push it up. This much, this little down. Yeah. So press again uh, to maintain the shape. Shift right click, extrude edge, press R, scale it down. Again G, R, scale this down. So uh, this part has to be open, so you can just keep it open like that. And now let's start adding some details for this. So insert edge loop tool. Now press one. And where you need to add? So here I want some loop. Here I want some loop to make that sharp. Just start adding the loops and press three. Just check that we got this. Okay, so if you feel that it is too outside, now we can also go to the top view, press 4 and anytime you feel that it has to be adjusted, you can go to this top view and then start adjusting this over here. So go to the top view, select this vertex, only the front vertex you can select it and you need to push it inside. Okay, so sometimes you might need to delete this. Because we have added additional segments, delete, control and delete and let's fix this. I think that's just too much out this top part. So go to the vertex, select only the top from the top view and then start pushing it back. So now just press W, start pushing it here. So I want only this much. Okay. So now you start adding some segment. Already the one, one loop is there, press 3 and you just see this. This is what we have. Uh, so uh, if you just want to see some kind of material, so while modeling, one more thing what you can do is you can just first save the file. And select this model, right click, assign new material. So while modeling, uh, modeling, you can just see this and I can just use this blin. So click on this blin material so you can just see that how uh, it will look with the shininess over there. So if I just see this and go to the material attribute, I'll just make it a little dark. So you can see that while modeling uh, this, so I just increase this so you can just see that. So how it will look, so if you want to make little more dark uh, while checking that, so just check this more dark and you can just have this. Okay, so how this model is looking, so you can just check it and we have to do this part now. Okay, so from the same thing, I'll just make that uh, lens also, so select this edge, double click and I want to make it separate, uh, so every time. I am just making a separate separate pieces. So shift right click, extrude edge. So this time, again, so if you just want to add the thickness of this, you can just give a little thickness and click it. And this you want to separate it, right? So select all these faces, shift and double click, it will select all the faces now. And shift right click, extract. So extract is something which will detach the faces. So once I do the extract, it is separate. So this part is separate, this is separate. Now it is easy for me to uh, do that model. So I'll just select this edge, press R, scale it out to give that uh, kind of feel for this and inside part. Now let's add this inside. So select this edge, double click, extrude, edge, press R and then you scale it inside and it has to push back. Okay and again so this is what we need to do it so again shift right click extrude edge press W bring it back over here again G R okay so uh, this part whatever the front part will be glass Right, so for the lens, uh, whatever the part will be the glass and I have to make inside part also for the lens. Uh, so that's what I told to collect some kind of references uh, when we are doing that lens part. 
so how this will be uh, so if i just go for finding some more a uh, lens part of that over here so you can just have some more reference for that how it will be inside so you need to collect all these references first so even though yeah if you are making like this so all this small small parts if you want to model it you can go for that all the details so if you want only this part to be model just go for that so it's up to you yeah so this part will be separate this is separate this is separate and inside so let's make that separate separate part here. so first thing what i'll do is i'll just uh, select again extrude edge press r scale it down push it back so here i'll just add that lens part so let's add it so press r scale it down so again g so extrude press r let's bring it down over here and suppose if you want that concave uh, face for that so i can just pull this out again g r scale it down move it forward press r let's scale this so this is what you want to adjust it so if you want to move this up or something you can just move it up and we have to keep doing this so press r and I just want to close that. So double click. So you have this right. So you just need to shift right click, extrude edge, press R, and just close it. And it should be more rounded and just fill that. So shift right click, fill all. If you just want like that part of Okay, so all these uh, segments uh, now you can just start adjusting and you want to connect this, you can still connect all this. So uh, go for this vertex, start connecting from here to here. Shift right click, connect and G is a shortcut to repeat. So I'll just press G, select this, press G again, G. Okay, uh, so this is one way or so one more way is what you can do is you can just have the uh, sphere. So it will already have that shape. Uh, so I can just attach to that and I can just use this. Suppose if I just want to use some kind of sphere, right? So double click, delete this off, delete. And you need to see that how many number of segments are there for this object. Over here so you can count the number of segment and the same number of segment sphere was to be created so just see this so if I just want to count it over here so one two three I start from here this one four five six seven eight 13 14 15 16 17. 19, 20, 21. I, I started from here. Yeah, so it is 21. Uh, so I need to make sure that the 21 segment uh, sphere I can just use it. Uh, so go to this create polygon and just go for a sphere and it will be like rounded shape only. So go for the channel box and here we need to make it 21 segment divisions. So 21. Now it is easy, so you can just rotate now, press 4 and to rotate it properly you can just press J on your keyboard and rotate, so it will snap and rotate and this part we don't require over here, so you can just select this faces, delete that off, so it is already in this shape, press R, scale it, so this is how it will be done so you just want to attach this to this so if you want that as a separate piece uh, you can just use it but if you want to attach to this you can attach also see already it will have the same number of segments and uh, we can attach that to this so if i just press r and scale it down just move it little up scale more down uh, so if you just want to attach these two, so go to mesh and combine it. So it will become single and double click on this, 
double click on this and shift right click bridge so you can also bridge between this two uh, objects over here sometimes if it is rotating uh, something like this what you can do is you can just rotate this object little like this and then you do the bridge okay so if it is having some kind of twist or something now select this select this shift right click bridge now it will be fine so if you have the mesh problem because both the segments are not proper and we have this so assign the same material existing material and just use that blend what we have done for that now press 3 for that also have it over here ok so if you have want some kind of details over here uh, so some of these things will be going inside so you can add some loops so insert edge loop tool and you want that equal distance so insert edge loop tool multiple edge loops so suppose if I want around 6 or 7 uh, or 10 loops just add that loop over here ok so now select the alternate faces so that will I just want to make that details over there and shift right click extrude face and you can just start extruding this out so just to give that if you want more number of uh, details you can add it so again press G one more time just one more extrude and we have this now press 3 and have that inside this so if you want some kind of uh, loops to be added over there so if you want sharp uh, loops you can add that over here so press 1 insert edge loop tool and start adding if you don't want that rounded if you just want to have some kind of sharp edges so just add some loops so insert edge loop tool reset just want to add some loop here here so on this corner so we just want that sharpness for it. Be careful while doing this. So just press 3. And front you want some kind of glass to be connected. So you can just have something which will be connected. 3. 3. That is all this faces which we have here. Okay, so now uh, other details of this. So we need to start doing all these other details. So just check. So how do I start uh, this kind of objects? Again, we need to take some kind of cylindrical shape for this. For creating this shape, again cylinder. For creating this shape, again cylinder. And this, this I can use cube. So this part, cube. And again this one. We need to see all this uh, details of that over here. Okay, so I need to pull this more out and then I have to just check that how much thing I have to pull this out. Okay, so now uh, I have done this part. So if you just pull this out and you want to connect this between these two uh, objects, we can also use this. So I have already done. So select this edge now. Shift right click, extrude edge, press W, just scale it down, press R, press G. Huh. Yeah, okay. just done. So, if you want to fix that separate, if it is outside, just start adding. Okay, so just start doing that. Okay, so take any kind of reference, uh, uh, I have multiple reference of it. Start doing this. Let me stop that. 